welcome to the class myself ashwini from gobal swami college lecturer in statistics and our today's chapter is new chapter that is fourth chapter in your second pure syllabus interpolation and extrapolation in first pure see already you have studied interpolation and the extrapolation simply we will take the revision of that we just we will recall what is interpolation and the extrapolation it is also one of the important technique in statistics in this uh, in interpolation x and y are the two variables where we will consider and x variable we call it as independent variable and the variable y we call it as dependent variable variable x we call it as independent and variable y we call it as dependent variable to find a dependent variable y using the independent variable x and let let us take let x not x1 x2 etc xn be the independent variables or a given values of x and similarly y not y1 y2 etc yn are the variables be the corresponding values of y x not to xn are the values of x and y not to yn or the corresponding values of y if x changes or if x increases these y values will also increases depending on the x value always the y value will be calculated and for any value of x if you want to ca calculate y value for any value of x between this portion if we calculate the any value between x not to xn that is y value this we call it as interpolation interpolation means in between x not to xn if you calculate the y dependent variable or a y value that is interpolation if we taken or uh, for a uh, for any x values if we calculate y values that we call it as that to outside the range not uh, not in a particular value between x not to xn more than this xn if it can be a value of xn plus 1 xn plus 2 whatever the value of x if it if you want to calculate y value that is outside the range that is outside the xn we call it as interpolation let us see the definition of interpolation the extrapolation interpolation is the technique of estimating the value of dependent variable y this is very important it is just a technique to estimate the dependent variable we know that y is a dependent variable for any intermediate value of the independent variable for any intermediate here intermediate independent variable that is in between the independent variables in between the x in between x not to xn if you want to calculate any y value uh, if we calculate the y value in this range so we call it as a interpolation that is interpolation is the technique of estimating the value of the dependent variable y for any intermediate intermediate is nothing but between x not to xn value of the independent variable x this is the definition of interpolation and similarly the definition of extrapolation extrapolation is the technique of estimating the value of dependent variable y again it is uh, here also we will calculate the dependent variable y for any value of the independent this is very important any value of independent variable y see there any value of x we can calculate 
sorry any value of x for x value we can calculate y value but here in interpolation only between x0 and xn we can calculate the y value which outside the range of the given series this is very important in extrapolation we will calculate the value of y or a dependent variable outside the range also that is outside the xn also not here we will not restrict till xn more than this xn also we can calculate the independent variable y value i'll just revise this extrapolation is the technique of estimating the value of dependent variable y for any value of independent variable x which outside the range of the given series this is the uh, very important in extrapolation that is outside the range word is very important in interpolation intermediate value is very important in your final examination if they ask the definition of interpolation and extrapolation if they ask for two marks these keywords are very important that is intermediate independent dependent and here any value of independent variable outside the range these are the keywords in this definitions and before we are solving the problem for uh, interpolation extrapolation we have some assumptions for interpolation and the extrapolation and the uh, first assumption is there is no sudden jumps in the values of dependent variable from one period to another that is if we have the data for example here we have the data of, of x0 x1 x2 etc xn the the jumps or a uh, uh, the gap between the variables uh, should be data should be uh, dependent variable for one period to another another values the there is no sudden changes in the values of dependent variable from one period to another and second one is there is a sort of uniformity in the rise or fall of the values of the dependent variable if the independent uh, variable rises dependent variable will also rise if it decrease that is also decreases this is the uniformity between the variables for rise or a fall and the third point is there will be no consecutive missing values in the series while when we are calculating the uh, uh, interpolation uh, values uh, if uh, x0 x1 x2 etc xn are the values if if x3 we do not don't know if you want to calculate x3 we can calculate if it is one missing value they should not be a consecutive consecutive that is after x3 if x4 is not there we cannot calculate that okay these are some assumptions we have to strict assumptions we have to make regarding this interpolation and extrapolation the again i'll repeat there is no sudden jumps in the values of dependent variables from one period to another sudden agi there is no sudden jumps and second one is there is a sort of uniformity in the rise or fall of the values of the dependent variable and the third one is there will be no consecutive missing values in the series and next is the here in first puc you have already have studied the binomial expansion method to calculate the interpolation and the extrapolation there you have studied only with one missing value there in the data only one value was missing and we have calculated that value using our pascal triangle and here for method of interpolation and extrapolation we have here we have two methods one is binomial expansion method first method is binomial expansion method and second one is newton's newton's advancing difference method advancing difference method these two are the methods we are going to uh, follow in Uh, calculating interpolation and the extrapolation already i have studied the binomial expansion method with one missing value but here we will uh, here 
in binomial expansion method two missing value we are going to calculate to find this binomial expansion method we want a pascal triangle we want pascal triangle you know how to write the pascal triangle i'll just recall that okay if one is a constant and if n is equal to 1 1 and 1 will be remain same if n equals 2 this 1 1 plus 1 2 again 1 and again 1 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 2 is 3 1 again 1 will be like this 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 3 is 6 3 plus 1 is 4 again 1 will remain same 1 1 plus 4 is 5 10 10 5 1 1 6 15 20 15 6 1 and 1 7 21 35 35 21 7 1 only these are the and this is the pascal triangle if n equals 4 if n equals 4 if n equals 4 then our uh, constant is this so this is for n equals 4 n equals 3 n equals 2 n is equal to 1 and your n is 0 and this is n is equal to 5 n is equal to 6 n equals 7 so for different n values we this is the pascal this is a pascal triangle this is a pascal triangle and these are the coefficients to calculate the binomial expansion method for formula sake we will use this pascal triangle in later classes we want this pascal triangle so follow this pascal triangle next class we will solve the problems based on these two methods thank you